Uh, ja, what what was your interpretation of what happened when when Tony Bradley, uh, you know, grabbed your jersey and y'all got double text? You seen what happened before? He tried to trip me. There ain't no basketball play. So I reacted. And then he was grabbing my jersey, and I'm telling him get off me, and he still grabbing my jersey. Like for what? But I ain't going for none of that though. I don't do none of that pushing and shoving either. So uh, I let you know whatever else happened after that happen. But yeah. Stephen Adams literally picked him up. As he should. And carried him to the other side of the court. As he should. You if like he was having in, a guy like that on your team? Yeah, because I'd do the same for him. That's how I was raised. I wasn't. I mean, I can be out there on my own, but pretty sure everybody see who I be having here. They be courtside, so we wasn't worried. <laughs> also, Jaron had another five block night and felt like he was an anchor for you guys down there. What have Man. you made of just the way he's been able to evolve and become so solid for you guys down there? Uh, you know, it's big time. Uh, his rim protection, you know, allows us to, you know, get out and run um, and also stop the other team from scoring. So. Uh, even if he doesn't block the shot, he's still, you know, affecting the shot and, you know, forcing guys to, you know, take tough shots down there. And that works in our favor, allows us to rebound and, you know, uh, get out and run. And then, you know, normally uh, with a guy like Jaron, uh, who's, you know, defending the basket, he's normally in that trail spot, which is tough, uh, you know, coming down, defense and transition, they're just looking around and, He's able to shoot the three and also attack, you know, during that time as well. So. Hey, John, I know you y'all get y'all, y'all look at every game with one game at a time, but how important is it to get this one win before you go on a long four game with Rose Creek, man? Uh, it was big time for us, especially you know after coming, you know, off a loss. Uh, we had to you know turn the page and you know get back in the column we want to be in, which is you know the winning column and uh, start a new streak. So. <laughs> Uh, it's big time, you know. Uh, we got to, you know, take this momentum and energy, you know, on the road. Uh, a big road trip for us. So uh, we definitely needed this win. Uh, Josh, Steven Adams back in the starting lineup tonight. And, and you see, you know, with the, the way he's dropping the dimes, with the six assists uh, he had today, just as a guard, uh, how much fun is it to, to cut when, you know, he has the ball at, at the top of the free throw line? And he's, you know, as soon as you guys cut, he's getting it to you every time on the money. Uh, it's fun, actually. You know, uh, it makes you know the defense have to stay, you know, underneath us, and I feel like that's works and you know to our, our advantage. I would coming off screens now they're you know trailing behind and it allows us to get downhill. Uh, but then you know if they overplay, you go back door. Pass gonna be right on the money for you to finish. So uh, he's a great passer. Uh, does a lot for us on the floor, and you know, with him out there, you know, being able to, you know, read the defense and our advantages, uh, it's big time. Yeah, twelve. You said you weren't trying to do the three sixty layup on that last break. What were you? What were you trying to do? And do you ever measure yourself when you do stuff like that? Uh, honestly, once I split the defense, I wanted to. Uh, rip the rim off, you know, after what happened. So um, then defense, you know, came over and it was just a reaction. I was going to pile up for a dunk and I seen him and, you know, most of the time in that situation, if if you don't finish the dunk, it'll be a charge. So uh, I just reacted and spun off him, made the layup. <laughs> Any final question? Last one, Terry. Hey, John, when you got a teammate like Desmond, he was hot in the first half. How important is it as a guard, your point guard, getting him to the open spot or making him or whoever there is hot, just make sure that he's getting it where he wants to get it so he can continue to be hot so he don't cool down? Uh, I feel like, you know, that's my job. So, you know, put him in positions where he's comfortable and, you know, where he wants to score the ball at. And, I mean, it's also tough because he can score from all over the court. So... Uh, it's just me, you know, just reading, you know, his man, how he's playing and just reading him. We normally, you know, make eye contact and we know, you know, where each other's about to go. So just me delivering the ball to him and 
even, you know, play calls uh, to get him the ball to make sure, you know, if he's the high guy to, you know, keep feeding him the basketball. All right. Thank you.